Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And that power will be put to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. The search continues for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Tingnan natin kung kakayanin nila ang brain workout na inahanda natin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition when we reveal a new K-Check champion. Apat na contestants from UP Diliman ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Adam. Adam is a physics major. His hobbies are watching movies, hanging out with friends, and playing plants versus zombies. He watches Titanic at least once every month. Many months a week. Sunod naman si Andre. Andre is a senior landscape architecture student currently working on her thesis. She's a big fan of public transportation and public spaces. Her favorite places to be are museums, galleries, and parks. Sunod naman ay si Shem. Si Shem ay food technology student. He loves watching thrilling series and movies. His hobbies are playing the piano and reading manga. A lover of Taylor Swift. Another Swift. Yes, his favorite song is Daylight. And finally, we have Drake. Drake is a geography student who likes to cook, take photos, and explore random places. He also plays the ukulele. May guitarist na tayo, may drummer na tayo, may ukulele player. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Our first expert is Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Assistant Professor Bernard Kaslib from the Department of Social Sciences, College of Arts and Sciences, UP Manila, is our next expert. And finally, multimedia artist and professor emeritus, teaching film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and communication at the UP Open University, we have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. And now contestants, it's time for round number one. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But make sure you wait until you are acknowledged by the host. Correct answers are 10 points each. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round one. Question number one. The LTO is the government agency responsible for the registration of motor vehicles. What does LTO stand for? Adam. Land Transportation Office. Land Transportation Office is the correct answer, k -check. Question number two, in anatomy, what do you call the framework of bones and other rigid materials supporting or containing the body of an animal or human? Drake. Skeleton. Skeleton is the correct answer, k -check. Question number three, taken from the Latin term for down and grade, what is the common name of the unit used in temperature and angle measure? Adam. Degrees. Degree or degrees is the correct answer. K check. Question number four in mental math. How do you express 40% as a fraction in lowest terms? Adam. Two over five. Two over five or two fifths is the correct answer. K check. Question number five, in boxing, which Filipino boxer won the WBC flyweight title in 1999 on the way to winning world championships in seven more weight categories in his professional career? Adam. Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is the correct answer. k -check. Question number six. The fifth most popular song of 2023 is Die For You, which was recorded by The Weeknd and which female singer of Seven Rings fame? Shem. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is the correct answer. Kate check. Question number seven. In the acronym SOC Sargent, what does SOC stand for? Drake. South Cotabato. South Cotabato is the correct answer. Kate check. Question number eight. What former country in Europe was split into Slovakia and the Czech Republic in 
Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Okay, check. Okay, check, Czechoslovakia. Joke lang. Question number nine. In art, what do you call the cloth stretched over wooden bars to create a taut surface? Adam. Canvas. Canvas is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number ten. What word may be a popular fruit bread spread or a situation where something is blocked, like in traffic or a printer? Drake. Jam. Jam is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What is the name of the game in which players mark off numbers on cards as the numbers are drawn randomly by a caller, the winner being the first person to mark off a required pattern. Drake. Bingo. Bingo is the correct answer. K check. Nagtay na si Adam at saka si Drake at this point in our round. Question number 12 for this round. What do you call one of the seven largest land masses found on Earth, like Asia and Africa? Adam. Continent. Continent is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, attorney, for that round. So let's do a scores recap. Adam is leading with 60 points, followed by Drake with 50 points. Si Shem naman ay may 10 points. At si Andre pwede pang humabol sa mga susunod na rounds. So bago tayo magpatuloy, para sa mga contestants natin, may chikahan tayo dito para siyempre mabawasan yung kaba natin. So simulan natin si Adam. So Adam, bakit mo naman pinapanood ang Titanic at least once a month? At may specific date ka ba dito? Wala na. Interested lang talaga ako dun sa Titanic na, na movie. Saka paborito ko yung mga artista dun. So, physics student ka, di ba? Nakoconnect mo ba yung physics dun sa pag-sync ng boat? Hindi. Nakomplete na. mo yung time bago siya mag-exercise. Hiniwalay ko kasi yung movie sa pag-aaral. Oh, hindi ko na iniisip. Oh, para stress-free nga, pinapasok oh, na naman ang pag-aaral. Favorite ko rin yan. 1997 yan, ano eh. Inere <laughs> May interview ka na talaga eh. Andre, how's the thesis going? Ano ba ang topic mo sa yung thesis and why? I am, ano po, uh, producing an alternative uh, aggregate to concrete po uh, in production and promotion of sustainable construction materials. So, Parang yeah. award winning yan pag <laughs> talagang mahanap niya. Mga sustainable construction yan yung mga ano ngayon, trend para siyempre. Green mas, building. Po. Green yeah. building. Para mas mapangalagaan yung Wow, we wish you talikasan. well in all your endeavors. Sana nga ay magawa mo ang iyong gustong ma-accomplish sa thesis na yan. So thank you very much for your interesting stories. Uh, mga contestants, get ready because we're going to go into round two next sa pagbabalik po ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. But before we go into our next round, we have Adam leading at 60 points, followed very closely by Drake with 50 points, and Shem with 10 points, and Andre with a lot of catching up to do. Kaya pa yan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tuloy pa rin ang ating chikahan. Ngayon naman si Shem. So very interesting yung name mo, Shem. Bakit Shem ang iyong nickname? Shem po kasi. Yung full name ko po is Shemuel po. And yung... Samuel po, galing po siya sa Bible, which is yung Samuel po, yun. Tapos iniba na lang po yung spelling po ng parents ko po. Pero daw po unique. Very unique naman unique talaga. Unique naman talaga. That's true. Successful Correct. sila doon. Pero bukod pa dyan, mm -hmm. isa kang Swifty. Yes uh -huh. po. At ang favorite song mo ay Daylight. So bakit Daylight ang favorite mo? May tumatatak po sa akin na parang lyrics po doon na parang now I can see daylight po. Parang sa mga struggles ko po sa buhay, tapos pag, pinapaki, pag pinapakinggan ko po, po yung kantang yun, parang um, it gives me strength po na parang meron pa pong um, panibagong araw or panibagong um, daylight na mangyayari po sa iyo. <laughs> ang sasabihin ko lang sana, yan ang tamang outlook sa buhay, <laughs> diba? Hindi naman kay Taylor. Oo. oo. Pero yung daylight, Iba maganda, na naman ang maganda yung attorney. Usually yan yung song na ginagamit sa mga weddings. Diba? Yes, in daylight. Sige, i-research natin yan mamaya. But that is a good outlook in life to always remember mm -hmm. that there will always be daylight after a very dark night. 
in any case. <laughs> Drake. Ganda nun. <laughs> ano naman ang future ng isang geography student na tulad mo? What do, what do geography students usually look forward to? Geography is a versatile course, so kahit ano pwede nang may puntahan. Pero I mean, yung ini-aim ko sa ngayon, yung sa mapping, ng, sa GAS and sa mapping, or di kaya sa diplomacy and international relations. Wow. So that's good and interesting to know. But now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Laging tandaan, wait to be called before you answer because your answer might not be given any credit. Because correct answers in this second round are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Question number one. What breed of medium-sized dogs having a white, short-haired coat with many black or brown spots is named after a native of an East European region? Great. Dalmatian. Dalmatian is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Which Filipino revolutionary leader overthrew Spanish rule in the north to establish an Ilocano state in 1872 but was assassinated in 1873. Jake. Diego Silang. Diego Silang is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. On New Year's Day 2024, what is the name of the famous clock or bell in London that celebrated the 100th year of its bong? Adam. Big Ben. Big Ben is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In physics. What do you call the change in direction of a wave passing from one medium to another caused by its change in speed or simply the bending of light as it passes through a window? The correct answer is refraction. Question number five. What is the name of a small sea crustacean with a shell that sticks very tightly in numbers to rocks in the bottom of boats. Jake. Barnacles. Barnacles or barnacle is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. The world-renowned Vienna Boys Choir is based in what European country? Jake. Austria. Austria is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Who won several Best Director awards for the film Argo and starred as an actor in Armageddon, The Sum of All Fears, Gone Girl, and Batman vs. Superman? The correct answer is Ben Affleck. Question number eight. In sports, what do you call the annual championship game of the National Football League of the United States? Drake. Super Bowl. Super Bowl is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What do you call the aristocratic Japanese warrior class that rose to power in the 12th century and dominated the Japanese government until the 19th century? Drake. Samurai. Samurai is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. Billie Eilish's What Was I Made For won a Best Original Song Award at the 81st Golden Globes for what movie starring Margot Robbie? Andre. Barbie. Barbie is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. What do you call the plastic packaging material in sheets containing numerous small air cushions designed to protect fragile goods? Andre. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is correct. Okay, check. Final question for this round. Using artificial intelligence, the UK company Layered Reality brought back to life which famous king of rock and roll who had the hits Love Me Tender, Blue Suede Shoes, and All Shook Up? Adam. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number two. Points check after that round. Bumulusok na si Drake with 170 points, followed by Adam with 100, Andre with 40, and Chem with 10. And a lot of catching up to do. Yes, pero siyempre, hindi pa tapos ang laban. 
ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check! Of course, after that round, we have Drake with 170 points, followed by Adam with 100, Andre with 40, and Sham with 10. Pero hindi pa tapos ang lahat. Hindi pa natin alam kung sino ang ating magiging ultimate winner kasi meron pa tayong parating na ultimate pagalingan round. Let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin! And let's start our Ultimate Pagalingan round with the first question by Prof. Marian. Ultimate Pagalingan, chemistry. The chemical symbol SB stands for stibnum or stibnite. What is the modern name for this element? A. Arsenic B. Antimony C. Cyborgium D. Tin or E. Samarium Shem. Letter D, Tin. Mali. Drake. Letter B, Antimony. Stibnum was used to make a black eye makeup. Now it's used in paints, glass, and pottery. The chemical symbol for antimony is SB, which stands for Stibnum. Okay, check. Okay. Who among the following emphasized biological instincts and unconscious processes as the main determinant of self-identity. Letter A, Carl Rogers. Letter B, Alfred Adler. Letter C, Sigmund Freud. Letter D, Eric Erickson. And letter E, Carl Jung. Okay, the correct answer is Sigmund uh, Freud. Kaya di ba meron tayong term in English, Freudian slip? Punta na naman tayo sa sinning. Who painted the persistence of memory featuring melting clocks? A surrealist artwork introduced the image of softness and hardness entwined symbols of relativity of space space and time. A. Albrecht Durer B. Salvador Dali C. Michel Duchamp D. Tolore Lautrec and E. Leonardo da Vinci Rick. B. Salvador Dali This famous uh, painter, Spanish surrealist painter, was meditating on the collapse of the notion of a fixed cosmic order. Okay, check! <laughs> Dalian With natin, dapat alam question. nyo ito. Native trees. Which of the following is a native Philippine tree? A. Acacia B. Mahogany C. Ipil-ipil D. Talisay Or E. All of the above? Shem. E. All of the above. Mali. Adam. Mahogany. Mali din po. Andre. D. Lahat to nakikita sa Pilipinas, di ba? Example, Akasha, marami sa UP, pero yan ay native to Australia. Mm -hmm. Ang mahogany ay invasive, actually dangerous sa ating environment. Native to Central and South America. Ganun din ang ipil-ipil. Talisay or umbrella tree is the correct answer. Letter D. Prof. Bernard. Okay, the next question is um, from economics. Okay, in economics, what term is used to describe the total value of all goods and services produced in a country within a specific time period? Letter A, gross national income. B, gross domestic product. C, net domestic product. D, national income or E, personal income? Drake, B, gross domestic product. 
Okay. Letter B, gross domestic product is K check. Balik ulit tayo sa pagpipinta. Which technique did the Vincent Van Gogh use to paint sunflowers? Where the paint is thickly applied by brush or palette knife, which left many bumps on the painting surface. A. Dabbing B. Splattering C. Impasto D. Underpainting E. Stippling Chem. A. Dabbing No Andre. C. Impasto This technique heightens the element of texture in Van Gogh's works Correct. Okay, check. Impasto. Ano? Iba'y na, iba naisip ko. If, okay, ito na. Serious na, serious. Mathematics. Para madali lang. If five terms of a sequence are one, three, four, seven, eleven, what is the next term? A. Adam. Eighteen. Okay, ito yung sinasabing Lucas sequence na parang Fibonacci sequence. At mo lang yung two terms before. So, the correct answer is C, 18 from 7 plus 11. Okay, check! Parang question lang yan sa ukat. Prof. Bernard, you are next. From mathematics, philosopher, mathematician din yung aking next question. Who is often referred to as the father of modern philosophy? and famously stated the quote, I think, therefore, I am. Letter A, Immanuel Kant. B, René Descartes. C, John Locke. D, Friedrich Nietzsche. Or E, Aristotle. Drake, René Descartes, B. Letter B, René Descartes, is K. Check. Mom Gigi. Yes. Ito, popular culture naman tayo. Who won the best actress in the 2023 Metro Manila Film Festival? A. Alessandra De Rossi. B. Sharon Cuneta. C. Eugene Domingo. And D. Vilma Santos. And E. Marian River. Um, D. Vilma Santos. Vilma Santos won for her performance in the film when I met you in Tokyo. So, the answer is D, Vilma Santos. Okay, check. Last round for the ultimate pagalingan round. Which of the following is not needed for the process of photosynthesis? A, carbon dioxide. B, oxygen. C, water. D, sunlight. Or E, none of the above. Ayan na naman ang... Drake, B, oxygen. Ang kailangan sa photosynthesis ay chlorophyll, sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis. So the correct answer is B, oxygen. Okay, check. Prof. Bernard. Thank you, attorney. My last question is on sociology. According to Karl Marx, what term describes the social class that owns the means of production and exploits the labor of the proletariat? Letter A, bourgeoisie. Letter B, proletariat. Letter C, middle class. Letter D, elite. Or letter E, aristocracy. Jake, A, bourgeoisie. Letter A, bourgeoisie. Talaga si SSP siya. <laughs> okay, check. Ma'am Gigi. What artwork by the Spanish Cubist painter Pablo Picasso was inspired by the bombings of civilians during the Spanish Civil War by the Nazi planes, killing hundreds and destroying three quarters of the town? A, Girls of Avignon, B. Child with Dove, C. Guernica, D. Figures at the Seaside, and E. The Picador. Drake, C. Guernica. 
This painting, Guernica, is a powerful symbol of the evils of war and the resilience of a people. So the answer is C, Guernica K Check. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Drake, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 380 points, which might just be the highest score for this round. But anyway, we'll see Drake again on Friday when he competes with our other Daily Winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Gusto rin natin pasalamatan ng ating mga contestants, Adam, Andre, and Sam. Parapakan natin sila. Maraming salamat sa pagsali. At sa ating members ng panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Bernard, and Professor Gigi. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. At ako naman po ay si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check! K -check.